will be discussing probability, and in particular, simple and compound events. Let's consider the example of getting a number less than 2 or greater than 4 when spinning the spinner once. The first thing that we are going to ask ourselves is, can this happen in more than one way? The answer is no. If we spin the spinner and it lands on 5, 5 is not less than 2, but it is greater than 4. And no matter what number we get, we will never get a number that is both less than 2 and greater than 4. And so, this can happen in only one way. The number is either less than 2, between 2 and 4, or greater than 4. And so, we see that this is a simple event. Let's consider getting heads when a coin is tossed and getting a 3 when a 6-sided number die is rolled. Again, we are going to ask ourselves, can it happen in more than one way? The answer is yes. This is a combination of two events. We have the probability of getting heads when a coin is tossed, and we also need to take in the probability of getting a three when a six-sided number die is rolled. The key word here is and, whereas in the last question we had or. And so we see that this has to be a compound event.